Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. It's that time again. I'm completing another SBC and 83 overall team. Like father, like son. It's a sensational little uh, cowboy locking here, boys. Ayanis Hadji, future stars for an 83 overall team. Now this man is part of his uh, his dad's SBC. So Hadji the icon is available now. And this man is obtainable via one of the squads. We got a four star, five star baller, high, medium, six footed. And look at this man's stats, 97 agility. The rest of Jibnin's stats, mid to, well, about mid 80s roughly across the board. Pace looks pretty good, passing stats. I'm excited to try this man out. He's a really well-rounded card actually. For a centre forward, the issues are Romanian in the Scottish League, not too many links kicking about. There is a Tavernier card though, that is probably extinct by the time you're watching this, because he's the only really usable link as it stands, but I'll make it work guys, don't worry. But deep dive into the, this little card here. We look pretty solid, 86. No real stat really stands out to me minus the agility. And I've actually used this man silver quite a few times. And he's not a, he's a quite a tall lanky lad. He's got a bit of lank to him. Um, so maybe that will help him the agility being high and he feels pretty damn smooth on the ball. Apart from that lads, really consistent, nice long shots. Any traits? We got flair. For some reason these future stars don't have finishing traits. It really drives me insane, but I am excited to try this man, guys. Drop me a like if you're excited. Let's go meet the team I'm gonna use him with. So guys, I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit difficult. We had to bring in the uh, the normal gold tavernier, who in all fairness probably will do a job for us in this uh, little gameplay sesh. But that's the only way I've been able to get this man in on a full chemistry. I will change him to a cam before we get into the game. The rest of the boys, we've got Jorginho, Benzema, Fakia, Big Man Choo Choo, Cruyff, we've got Ferdinand, Rambo, Ramsdale, Upa, and Davies. Right, so chem style for Hadji. I think I'm going to play him as a cam. I mean, you could play him as a striker to be fair. Four star, five star is very nice. We might actually try him as a striker, lads. With a hunter chem style, max out the pace and the old shooting stat. So with the hunter boost, we get a nice, pretty much max out the pace. 99 acceleration and 97 sprint speed. Finishing stats get a huge boost as well. He looks like a lethal striker. And I will definitely play him alongside Benzie Boy and have a lot of fun doing it, lads. For this, we are so close to getting back into Division 1. I've been grinding away over on Twitch, guys. It is an absolute slog, but we are slowly getting there. So let's get into some gameplay. So what are we up against then, boys? 100 chemistry. Man, he's got the, the numbers up. Rainer. I don't see that card very often. I can't remember what boost. They're pretty certain it's a pace boost he's getting, uh, which is quite a nice uh, little upgrade on the man. But that's still ages away from happening. But come on then, Hadji. Today's video is all about you, lad, and your brand new Future Stars card. Still in love with the card design. Love the player. Love his silver card. And boys, he feels pretty snappy from the first few touches here. So hopefully he's a certified baller. And as a striker, I like the sound of it. So guys, how are you finding the Future Stars promo so far? We've had some crazy content over the past couple of days. Hadji, of course, here as part of uh, his dad's SBC. I do like that idea. If EA want to do that in the future, I'm all for it. We also had the mini release yesterday. I'm pretty certain I viewed all of them minus Ferran Torres in the end. He was uh, extinct at the time of me recording, unfortunately, but he looked pretty crazy. DCL as well, absolute beast. Leaps like a salmon, score goals for fun. And now Hadji. He's getting bullied so far, boys. All right, he's getting a rude awakening to FIFA right now. Nice bit of pace. He's got fantastic close control. What's weird about this card as well, on stats, he doesn't have much physicality kicking about. I'm pretty certain he didn't. Um, but he feels quite strong in game from what I've seen so far, which is a nice promising sign. How about the passing? Nice ball into Benzie, boy. Let's try and recycle it. See if we can feed our man on his debut if possible, boys. Get Cruyff involved. Into Hadji, one touch, finesse it. Nice bit of play, link up play. Keep going, Hadji's in, lads. Get lucky, lads. Pretty much on a plate for the man. All right, we'll take all the luck I can get. I went for the dink the first time, finish is a big save from the keeper, but we followed through. Definite bit of luck there, but it's a debut goal, boys. All right, hopefully a floodgate season. And there's the one all, lads. Ooh, lovely pass from Hadji there. Into Cruyff. Can we make something out of this, boys? Unfortunately not. Range of passing is going to be good, though. As the striker, I quite like having a man who could ping a pass up there as well. Help out with the link-up play. And uh, that was a decent little ball into Cruyff there. Oh, boys. There is so much space there, lads. So much space. We fell apart. 2-1 down. 
Lam getting taken out by his own player there was a nice little sight to see. Come on then, Jorginho. We're looking at Hadji bombing forward on the overlap. And Cruyff. The touch is insane, lads. Hadji! What a goal for the lads. I don't know how we pulled that off, but Hadji gets his second. We're in the first half. The debut hat trick is on the cards, boys. Fantastic ball from Jorginho. Cruyff is somehow taken around the keeper. And that man there. Ayanis Hadji, fantastic dynamic image, sick card, design, and two goals so far in his debut, all right? It's a tough game. Not a lot's really happened, in all fairness, but so far, I'm, what I'm seeing, I'm liking, lads. He does have a bit of physicality, actually, doesn't he? Let's have a little look. 75 strength, it's noticeable. He's quite a stronger, tall player, which is nice. Dribbling feels good. First touches are quite nice. A little burst of acceleration, you know, it's coming off the block, which is good. Um, shooting. Two goals, both have been tap-ins though. So we'll test that out properly in this a second half. But five star week for four star skills as well on the card, lads. Decent work rates. It's a promising start for the man. He's got quite a nice touch. He doesn't feel super quick on the ball, annoyingly. Like players like Verratti might get the better of him in the midfield. Like, if we're being realistic about it. So don't try to do too much with the man, is my first impressions. Keep it pretty simple, especially if you're up against quick and agile CDMs like Verratti. As you may get bullied. But in situations like this. Nice little burst of pace. Lovely passing behind the Jorginho. But unfortunately Koundé is the... This man is a menace. Honestly, I can't stand playing against Koundé. Got Tavernier putting in the stint. The gold 77 overall. Common goal card. My opponent's literally sending the kitchen sink, lads, which is a bit interesting. Okay, then. The only issue when you throw the kitchen sink, boys, is you leave yourself open at the back. And Ramsdale needs to pull off some worldy saves, that. So come on now. But going forward, we have the reinforcements to make something happen here. Hadji! Thought that was going to be the hat trick, lads. Obviously, five star weak foot. Feel free to pivot all you like in the box. Shoot right foot, left foot. You stand a decent chance of finding the back of the net either way. Trying to do too much of it, boys. Counter attacks from corners are not good when you're throwing the kitchen sink as well, boys. I've got one. So unfortunately, it was not meant to be. 3-2, we take the owl. A half full effort. Two goals on the day before Hadji. Albeit both of them were pretty damn simple. Pretty much a, a combined three yards out away from the goal, both of them. Uh, but wasn't meant to be at the end of the day. Unfortunately, we are not hitting Div 1. I don't know about you boys. Div 2 has been difficult. All right? I'm struggling out here. All right? We need to put some serious work in if we want to hit the rank 1. Get into Div 1, lads. And then back to the promised and the elite division. But Ayanis Hadji, overall opinion, my first impressions of the card. I expected some good things. Using the silver in the silver lounge, I kind of knew what he was about. He's basically a super juice version of that. He's still got the uh, the decent dribbling stats. Nothing crazy, right? He doesn't feel super cracked out for pretty responsive uh, actual dribbling. You could look to boost it in all fairness, depending on where you want to play him. I would recommend a Hunter Chem start if you're playing as a striker. But maybe if you want to mix up and play him as a cam and you're happy with the pace, potentially a finisher could be a nice little boost to the shooting and the dribbling. Or maybe even an engine if you want to boost up the pace a little bit. But for the price, an 83 overall team and one team of the week, that's cheap as chips. 83s are essentially discard. 850 coins you could pick them up for. The chemistry, 70, 75 I think it was in total. And I'm pretty certain you guys have an untradeable team of the week kicking about in your club. I think it's a bit of a, a bit of a steal, lads. All right. Obviously, the links are difficult. We'll take a look at the uh, the Scottish League quickly. There's not a lot to really shout about, apart from the Tavernier special card. But as predicted, he is uh, probably extinct right now with the release of this card here. But one thing's for sure, I do like uh, the concept of the father and son combo. That's interesting. There's a fair few kicking about. As you can see, we got Tavernier. We also have Barisic. I'm not sure if he's in the most recent team of the week. He looks decent, maybe as a little link, but if you get in this man, rather than just use Tavernier and save uh, half the price, well, more than half the price, because Tavernier is probably like discard at this stage, might be a little bit more expensive. We've got Sakala as well. I checked before uh, Hadji's release, and he was currently going extinct on Xbox. I wouldn't recommend linking in with uh, Hadji. Unless you're a fan of Rangers, maybe it makes sense, but Tavernier is definitely the way to go. If not, boys, Icons, probably an easy way of doing it, or get him in on 8 Chemistry. But even if you're not going to use him as an objective player or a super sub, it's probably worth a shout, boys. 
Um, it's an 83-year-old team, and you regret not doing it, lads. But overall, I'm excited. I'm still enjoying the Future Stars promo, hoping for some mad SBCs throughout the week, guys. And then, of course, Team 2. And most importantly, Silver Stars on Wednesdays. If we don't get a Future Star, I am going to be fuming, eh? Anyway, guys, I'll be more. So I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please do drop me a like, drop me a comment. Let me know if you're unlocking Ianis Hadji or not. And I'll catch you very soon in another video. Catch you in a bit.